first. <laughs> what? You already know what you're gonna say for the first one. This. <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. All right. I feel so short. Okay. Are you ready? Look happier. Aren't you excited? <laughs> okay. Hey everybody, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my younger brother Andrew and I feel very short right now. I'm here with my younger brother Andrew and we are going to be doing another little guest video. He is visiting from college and I have coaxed him into filming another video. Uh, if you guys don't know or if you didn't see, we have done a little um, collab video before. We did the blindfolded first line challenge and that was really funny and I would link to it but... Uh, I don't know if they want to see it. So uh, now we're doing another video though and we're going to be doing the guess the book plot or the book cover challenge. It's called a few different things. I don't actually know what it's called. But basically Andrew is going to be, Andrew doesn't read YA books like at all. I think the only books he's read is Percy Jackson and Hunger Games, right? Those are pretty much the only books. So I haven't chosen those books, but I have 10 books here, 10 YA novels, and I'm going to be showing him the book, just the cover and the title, and he has to guess what the book is about. So it should be really funny and I'm really excited to see what he's going to say. And without any further ado, let's jump in and get started. All right, so the first book is Matched by Ali Condi. <laughs> so what do you think this book's about? A girl gets a Tinder and she has no matches. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's trapped, because no one will like her. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I have to tell you what it's about. Okay, so Andrew thinks this is about a girl who gets a Tinder and, and has no matches. Why she's okay, sad so, and she's in her own bubble. Uh-huh. Okay, so this book, so Matched is about um, this girl named Cassia or Kasha. I don't know how you pronounce her name, but um, and basically it's like in this post-apocalyptic society where uh, everybody's lives are like controlled and so everybody gets matched with who they're going to marry and so she ends up getting matched and I'm not going to spoil it uh, but she ends up getting matched and then a bunch of things happen where uh, her matches get mixed up and some stuff goes down. Kind of like Tinder. S no, no, okay. Um, well you got the word match but it was in the title so... <laughs> Okay, next. <laughs> All right, so next is Legend by Marie Lu. I don't know. Reminds me of like Captain America with the star okay. mixed with like the Maze Runner. <laughs> Taking personal calls. <laughs> okay, so what do you think it's about? You gotta give me like a plot. Or any keywords, like what genre do you think it is? Maybe the Nazis are attacking and some dude saves a bunch of Jewish people and he becomes a legend. So you think it's, what genre do you think it is? Jewish! Like historical? <laughs> okay, genres are historical, okay, fiction, dystopian, fantasy, science fiction, contemporary, I don't think I own any contemporary books. So, okay, so you think cool. it's a book about like the Holocaust? the Nazis? Sure. Okay, so no, um, Legend is a dystopian, another dystopian book kind of like matched and um, but it's not like matched at all and it's about these like two different characters. Uh, actually, what, what's their name? June and something else. June sounds like Jewish. No, June and what's the other guy's name? Day. That's right. It's about June and Day and it's an alternating chapters between them and June is like this um, not necessarily a soldier, but she is one of the smartest people in the ranks. There's like an army, kind of, that runs the country, and she's one of their top students. She goes to this academy, and then Day is a renowned criminal, and then it's basically about how they meet, and there's like a rebellion, and so no, sorry, it's not about Nazis. <laughs> okay, next, you're doing so great. Okay, next is Ruby Red by Kirsten Geyer. What do you think this one is? Probably hold about it. a princess in a ruby red dress. Okay. Who probably gets kidnapped or something like every other book. <laughs> and there are probably two dudes fighting for her and there's probably some love triangle going on. And Is there yeah. anything on the cover that would stand out to you? It looks like Big Ben in the back. Okay. So probably England. Uh-huh. Anything else? There's a stopwatch. Uh-huh. What does that remind you of? 
She's running out of time. Okay. Close. You said something about time. So, okay, so this book is about a girl who is a time traveler, and it does take place in England, and she goes back in time, and there's not a lot of triangle, but there is a romance. Between how many people? Just, just her and this guy, which I'm not really that much of a fan of, but anyways... Okay, so, so you, sort of you got Big Ben. Okay, so I'll give you a point for getting Big Ben. And oh, I get points? Sure. Yeah, you get a point for that. And, um, yeah, okay, uh, it is about a girl in a dress. And it's right. I honestly have no idea why this book's even called Ruby Red. I think it's because she wears a red dress. I read, I read this really long So time. I got it right. Sort of. I mean, there's a girl in a red dress on the cover. So I got and it right. And it takes place in England. So I'll give you a point. Yeah, okay. like you get a point points. for this one. No. Nope. Like and you said the stopwatch, but you didn't say time travel. Sure. Okay, next. I cannot wait for this. <laughs> there's nothing on the cover. Okay, so Caraval by Stephanie Garver. Reminds me of the circus. You go on one of those caravels and you ride either like the horse or an elephant. Mm -hmm. Normally I pick the eagle, but... Okay, so what do you think this is about then? What's the plot? Probably like a horror, because it says remember it's only a game. Mm -hmm. So like, like creepy clowns come at you with like knives and they try and kill little kids as they come to the caravel. Yeah. So it's a horror book? Yeah. Okay, uh, so not exactly, you get a point because you said circus, so it's, Caraval is about like this magical, it's an island, and there is kind of like a circus there, it's a carnival, and basically people get these special tickets to come, and it's all kind of like a game, it's like a psychological game, and you don't really know what's real and what's not, and the main character is a, a girl protagonist, I don't know if any of these books have guy protagonists, maybe, but, um, and basically she goes to this island and her sister goes missing and it's all about how she has to find her sister. It is kind of creepy. It's not a horror book. It is kind of creepy Any though. clowns? Not clowns, no. But there's like people who run the carnival and it is kind of creepy. So you got, you got, um, circus, not circus, but like carnival. Because you said that. So good job. I thought he was going to bomb that one because there's nothing on the cover. Okay. Next, I can't show you the back because this one has the synopsis on the back. Okay, An Ember in the Ashes by Sabaha Tahir. Obviously in the desert. Okay. And there's a guy and a girl. Uh-huh. And probably like their city gets burned down and then she's like the only one who remains. So she's like the ember and all the ashes and she does something heroic probably. Okay, so their city gets burned down and she does something heroic. Anything else you want to add? What about the guy? What does he do? It's probably like her protector lover. Her protector lover. Okay, so it takes place in the desert, so you get a point for that. Good job. It takes place in this desert, and basically uh, it's to a dual point of view. There is a girl and a guy, and there is a romance between them, so you get that. And okay, so basically this the guy's name is Elias, and the girl's name is Leia, and basically what happens is Leia, her brother, her family gets killed, no one's city gets burned down, sorry, but her, her house kind of gets burned down and her family gets killed, so I guess you can have like half a point for that. Good job. Um, and, what did you say? Eight? Are you keeping track? And so she uh, is kind of in the beginning of the book. She's not very strong and she's kind of, not weak, but she definitely grows a lot over the novel and she ends up becoming this spy and she goes to the, uh, what's it called, like Blackstone, I think is what the academy's called, and that is where Elias lives and that's where the army trains and he's one of their top soldiers and he wants to run away but then a bunch of stuff happens and he kind of gets caught up. He is actually, they're both kind of the embers but in the book he's referred to as the ember in the ashes and so yeah that kind of happens. It's about her trying to find her brother by being the spy. And it's uh, inspired by Rome, ancient Rome, so. But you got desert, and kind of their, her house gets burned down, so I guess that can, you can get half a point. And there's a romance, so good job. Okay, next. You better not mess this up. It's one of my favorite books. Okay, The Sand Castle Empire by Kayla Olsen. I have talked about this book, so you got to get something. Okay, go ahead. No, if you don't know, make something up. I want to hear what you think it's about. Some little kids go to the beach, and they make a sandcastle. It turns into an empire. 
sandcastle so big that they can crawl inside of it. Mm -hmm. And then they get attacked by the sand goons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then when all hope is gone, they still survive. Okay. Uh. It's close. Sure. So this book. <laughs> Okay, so the Saint Castle Empire is about Eden. I get all these characters' names messed up. Okay, so this is this book is about Eden, and it's also kind of like a dystopian book. And the Wolf Pack has taken over the world, and basically, it's like all of these people who used to be really impoverished, and some of them weren't, but it generally like where the uh, impoverished people take over and kind of overthrow all of the wealthy people. Her family was really wealthy, they're put in like these concentration camps, kind of, and then she escapes and she's trying to find this island that her dad um, always told her about, which is supposed to be like this safe haven, and she does arrive at an island, but it's not what she thought, and then a whole bunch of stuff, I don't want to spoil anything, but a whole bunch of stuff happens and she has to figure out where she's at, if there's a safe haven, and she's trying to uh, find, well, I don't want to say anything else because, again, I don't want to spoil anything. So that's basically it. So that's use, basically it. Use the word think. I mean, I, I don't want to say, like, anything. You already said a lot. Okay. Next. So, sorry. So, no, there's no sand goons or children, <laughs> really. I mean, she's kind of a child. Okay, next is Defiance by C.J. Redwine. Probably I, a princess who's supposed to become a queen or something. And she doesn't, or she has to marry someone and she doesn't want to, so she's defiant and she says no. And it looks like she's running away. There's her little castle down there. And. Okay. So I will give you a point because you said she's supposed to marry somebody but she doesn't want to and she's defiant. That's good. She's not a princess. Um, so this book is about Rachel. The main character's name is Rachel, and at least in this book, there's other characters later on. But um, this book is told in Rachel's perspective. Actually, is it? I don't know. Maybe it's told in his perspective, too. I can't remember, honestly. But this is about Rachel, and um, this is kind of also another dystopian book, but it's like a fantasy dystopian, kind of. And the world has been destroyed by these, like, giant, like, metal worm-like creatures that lived in the ground, and they came up and they destroyed everything. They're kind of like dragons. Not really like worms. And they destroyed everything, and so they live in this walled city. So that's not a castle, it's a walled city. And basically, this is where women are kind of seen as like property. And so they are kind of auctioned off to their husbands. And so she is supposed to marry this guy that she doesn't want to marry uh, because she's in love with this other guy. And so she is defiant, and it's basically about her trying to go and find her father who's missing. And yeah. And stop all of these like huge metallic dragon creatures and also there's this really evil guy who is ruling the city and they're trying to overthrow him so actually that's pretty good she didn't want she was, didn't want to marry the, this guy that's not the main plot but I'll give you a point for that okay next is the evaporation of Sophie Snow by Mary Weber and I've talked about this one a lot too somewhat when I was reading it Probably Sophie Slow disappears. Did I start the camera? I was about to freak out. Okay, so, sorry. The Evaporation of Sophie Snow. By Mary Weaver. Just some, make something some up. Some girl goes missing. Okay. You gotta give me more. That's it. That's all I could tell. She goes missing, doesn't she? No. Okay, give me something else. Oh, Somebody no. goes missing. Her lover. Nope. Her mother. Nope. Her brother. Yes. <laughs> it was one of the others. <laughs> okay, you gotta give me a plot. What do you think happened? Just make something up. The evaporation of Sophie Snow. What do you think? I don't know. Her brother goes missing and she has to go search for him. Okay. I want to hear your most elaborate story. Like if you were going to write a book called this, I just want to hear it. You can be crazy. Well, I wouldn't make it called the evaporation of Sophie Snow. What is this, science? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah, can you keep going? So, it's a, sci it's a dystopian sci-fi book. That's weird. <laughs> he knows nothing about books. I don't know. That's all I think. Her brother goes missing and she has to go search for him. Using Where do you think it takes terms. place? Where do you think it takes place? Like, what's the world like? <sighs> is it like cold. in a castle? Probably cold? Yeah. Okay. I see some ice up there. Okay. 
So it takes place on and what? Like, it's cold and her brother goes missing. An Iceland. Iceland. Okay. Okay, that's good. Don't strain yourself. So basically, this book is about Sophie Snow and her brother Shiloh goes missing. And there is an ice planet. She doesn't live on the ice planet. But basically there's like these alien creatures. They're not exactly like aliens. They look like humans. But it's like this extraterrestrial race. And they live on the ice planet. And it just showed up in the sky one day. And they kind of have like this alliance with the people who live on the futuristic Earth. And it's kind of like the Hunger Games in the fact that they have this game that they play and Shiloh is one of the players and Sophie Snow, the main character, is kind of like her gamer so she controls him and tells him what to do in the game and it's just for like this huge entertainment purpose so they play it in like this huge auditorium. It's not like a fight to the death like in the Hunger Games but it is for entertainment. He goes missing and then she has to try to find him and there is an ice planet so you can get a point for ice planet. Like Good job. Four points. Good job. No, don't throw them. Okay, we're getting close. Okay, so next is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Either a queen who gets murdered or a queen who murders other people. Hence the blood coming off the crowd. Okay. There's also a caption that may not be helpful. <laughs> Power is a dangerous game. So yeah, she probably kills people. Do you think the main character kills people? She might not be the main character. She just might be the queen. Okay, so the queen kills people. Yeah. So what about the main character? She has to kill the queen. Okay. Kind of like Snow White and the Seven Huntsmen, but... Seven oh, yeah. Huntsmen? Seven Doors? No. Snow White and the Huntsmen. Oh, you said Seven Huntsmen. Okay. So, so anything else you can give me? I want to hear your thoughts. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> You have to give me more. You can't just be like, it's the princess. That's what happens. The whole book is blood. about her, probably, the main character trying to either kill or overthrow the queen because she's evil. Okay, that's pretty good. That doesn't have to do with the central core, but okay. So this book is about Mare. The main character's name is Mare. And she ha finds out that she has these supernatural powers that she can control lightning and electricity. And yeah, so hey, there wasn't any supernatural powers. This is the first one, which is surprising because a lot of books, YA books have supernatural powers, okay? So she has supernatural powers to control lightning. And um, it's like a fantasy book. You find out a little bit later in the series some other stuff that I don't want to spoil, but it's a fantasy book. And there is a queen, and she is evil. And so she's trying to overthrow her, kind of, not in the beginning, it's but like later on. Points. Later on, and there's a love triangle with of the course. princes. And whenever she finds out, basically the world is divided by red and silver blood. Red is her blood, that's why it's red, red queen. Um, so she's a red, and then the silvers are like the elites, and they're the ones who have supernatural powers. But she finds out she has supernatural powers, but she has red blood. So then it's kind of like everyone's really... Um, like shocked and they're scared of her so basically they tell her she has to come to the palace and pretend to be a silver because they're afraid that if they find out that the reds have powers then their whole like ruling class system will kind of fall apart so that's yeah that's what the book's about okay last book origin by jessica corey okay this literally gives it away i should not have picked this one the the catch line totally gives this book away it the says, jungle hides a girl who cannot die. It's obviously about a girl who cannot die who lives in the jungle. And she's probably like the origin of some supernatural species and they probably have powers as well. Okay, so... Okay, so give me some like things. What's the first thing? About a girl who lives in the jungle and she cannot die. And for some reason, that purple flower is the only flower that has color. Okay. And what jungle? The Amazon. Okay. <laughs> Maybe she's tribal. Okay. I will give you points for some words, the keywords that you said. Okay. Yes. <coughs> it does take place in the Amazon. The jungle. It is about a girl. The flower is very important. And she is not the origin of something. Uh, she's immortal. Okay. That's why she can't die. So she's immortal. And they basically... She's not tribal, but there is tribal, there's a tribe in there, and she falls in love with a tribal boy. So I'll give you a point for that. And 
And basically this book is about uh, this girl named Pia and basically she's immortal and she's been raised in the Amazon by all these scientists who have like this little colony there and they've been breeding uh, these children over centuries and generations to become immortal and she is the first immortal person that they have ever created and there is origin has to do with not her but there is something important and it has to do with that flower that's the origin of something uh, and she's trying to find out kind of like her origin of how she became immortal and all that stuff and I don't want to say anything else to spoil it but yeah tribal good there's a tribal boy uh, Amazon the flower is important and it's about a girl so yeah good job I have no idea how many points you got, but you did pretty good. I thought you were going to say way funnier stuff, but it's okay. You're actually pretty like on the on the spot on most of them, so good job. That's that's it. Don't y'all do some more? No, nope. thank you for having me. I really enjoyed my time here on the show. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video with Andrew. Stop. Stop. I hope that you enjoyed this video with Andrew, and I will catch y'all next time. Bye!